Hi guys and welcome to another iOS development tutorial. In this video we're going to continue our look at how you can customize UI table views uh, to essentially create uh, a nice user interface for your application. So I've got a pretty simple table view up in my uh, simulator. Um, this is just a standard set of table view code. Uh, if you've never worked with table views before, do take a look at my creating a simple table view tutorial. I think it does a pretty good job of walking you through how you can create a pretty basic table view in iOS. Great. So one of the things that uh, you may have noticed is if you've working with or if you've worked with an application that uses table views before, they sometimes have a little indicator here on the right. Uh, it could be um, some kind of a um, arrow or uh, a, even a check mark. So what those actually are um, are something called accessory views. And uh, there are three accessory views that come uh, default sort of out of the box in iOS. Um, so let's take a look at how you actually implement them. Also, if you're implementing a master detail-based application, you're probably used to tapping a row and loading a detail view about that particular row. Now, that is of course done through a different method but you may have also noticed that there's usually a small arrow that appears there. So just so you know, that arrow does not appear automatically. You actually have to use what we're going to show you here, what I'm going to show you here in this particular tutorial um, to generate that arrow. Right, so I've got here a simple table view and you'll notice that I've got an NS array with a bunch of NS string objects and then I've got my standard table view data source methods and in particular the method we're concerned about is the table view um, colon self for row at index path method. Uh, so you'll see here, of course, we're doing our standard stuff. You know, we're creating a cell, checking to see if there's any that we can reuse, um, and then we're setting the text label dot text property uh, to whatever we're currently looking at in terms of the index path dot row in that array. Now here's sort of our step two dot five, where we can go through and set something called the accessory type property for that particular cell. The accessory type is essentially an, an accessory view. So the way we set that is we just come down here and go cell dot accessory type and you'll see that there's actually three kinds of accessory types that I can use. I can use um, a check mark, a detailed disclosure indicator, I can use a disclosure indicator and I could also set it to none which is of course what we get by default. So if I set this to for example a disclosure indicator do a command s to save and a command r to run it looks like it was already running but there we go now we get this de uh, disclosure indicator now let's stop it one more time and try one of the other options so I'll just do an equal to I'm going to hit the escape button which gives me this particular menu to select from and uh, we'll try this one here command s command r and this time we'll see that it changes into these uh, nice blue circles with arrows in them. Let's stop it one more time and try our third option. Now if you're wondering how I'm getting these menus is all I'm doing is once I s set this property I put the equal sign and I hit the escape key on my keyboard and that's what generates this particular menu. So last one of course to try is the check mark. Command S and Command Command R to run, and here we go. And now I have a check mark. Now, um, let me go ahead and stop this application. Now, before you decide to just implement whatever you like, you should know that Apple actually intends for these different accessory types to mean something. Uh, if you want to take a look in greater detail, you can do so via the organizer window. So let me click on the organizer. Now I will tell you that I was earlier searching for this reference for this tutorial and what I put in into the search is the table view cell accessory. And then I eventually ended up with a bunch of different documents and I looked at the one called standard styles for table view cells. And in here is a little blurb about accessory views. So you'll see that Apple points out the very same three accessory views that we just looked at. We've got a disclosure indicator and the disclosure indicator should be used when if the user selects a cell it results in the display of another table view reflecting the sort of next level in the data model hierarchy. What that basically means is if you are using a master detail application 
and tapping a row loads a detail view, this is the accessory type Apple is expecting you to use. Then there's also the detail disclosure button and um, you can see the using that selecting a cell results in a detailed view of the item which may or may not be a table view. So these two are sort of interchangeable. Ideally you want to use the first one if your next view or detail view also has a table view. If it doesn't, Apple would prefer that you use the detail disclosure button. There's also the check mark and you can see that here it usually implies that when the user taps that it ends up, they end up selecting that particular value in whatever next piece of UI you've got. So keep that in mind um, and keep the human interface guidelines in mind because users expect certain things to occur um, when they see these uh, particular uh, accessory types. Now you can also create a custom accessory type if you so like and I might do a tutorial on that later. Uh, but these are sort of the basic three and the ones you want to pay attention to. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you in another tutorial.